Hello and welcome to TC Josh, my name is Logan Zero and we're back at it again once again with some Union Arena and today we have the finals and we're, if you couldn't guess it, going to be watching a mirror match, going to be Code Geass Red versus Code Geass Res Red, so I hope you are ready for some pizza time because I sure hope know I am. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to watch this and not hear me yap over it, I will put the link down in the description. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see more Union Arena, future Union Arena content. Uh, this is what our meta is going to be look like. I hope you guys are ready to see red on red action because uh, this deck is going to be a powerhouse unless they decide to hit the Ninelli in this deck but we'll see and let's just jump right into it going to be starting with the turn player on the right showing up their code Geass see a CC in hand maybe that'll be their first turn draw one trash one or maybe they'll just play the main character of the deck so that way they have a raid option that's what they're gonna do cool Going to play the main character, going to uh, grab their action points, and are they going to do the same thing, main character? Probably. That's what I feel like would be the correct decision. It looked like it. I think I saw his head. Yep, there it is. Tapping one to play him, and going to play another zero. Oh, playing a zero cost in the front. Okay. Trying to sneak out some damage as soon as they can. That will be interesting. And let's see. What are they going to do? They have they have a couple of the main character for the deck in their hand. They also have a melee. I saw that in their hand. Oh, playing CC it might be what they want to do. Get some cycle going, grab an extra card. Could be what is going to happen. Scratch my eye if you guys can hear that. Looks like it is the CC. Yep. Draw one trash one. Drawing CC. Drawing the. Oh, drawing the Nanili. Perfect. Great top deck. Uh, and going to be trashing the melee. And going to be playing the step nurse into the front line. Step means that if uh, during your movement phase you want to you can move the character from the front line back to your energy line that is what steps ability is just so everybody knows going to play the melee going to be buffing up the Kellen in the front line that is now a 3k so the swing will be able to go through easier going to play their own nurse into the background or the energy line sorry going to swing Ooh, the color trigger doesn't go off. Uh, the Catman's color trigger is only for 2,500 or less CC uh, BP, and Kellen was 3K during that swing, so no effect there. Pretty fortunate, pretty good. Um, I think uh, most of the color triggers are 2,500. Some are more depending on the deck and the play style. Looks like they're going to be playing Academy from their hand, though. It they keep tapping it, they really do keep looking at the Academy card. Academy, um, Ashford Academy comes in active, and you can tap it to uh, to set a card with the Ashford trait active. So, pretty good at just pumping out characters to put a bunch of damage on board, which seems to be what they're going to be doing. Very nice, going to be playing. Okay, there's the Nanili. That character, oh, going to be raiding, very nice. Uh, going to be activating the Ninelli's effect onto the nurse, so that way characters with 4,000 BP or more can't block that character. Only doing that just in case a raid happens, so that way they can just block, they don't get to be blocked by the raid character. Going to be swinging 3k, top life, it's a Ninelli who has no trigger. Going to be swinging the raid character. 4k unsuspending uh, giving her a buff that kind of sucks though because now they can't block it see and this is the problem with that Ninili the entire reason that those buffs are there is so that way you can block characters once they get an extra unsuspend or something happens during the attack line but because the Kellen is a 5k now cannot block the nurse anymore 
because of the Nanili's effect. That's the reason that this card got hit, because all of your buff triggers basically screw you. Because if you hit a buff trigger and you have only one character on board, and you have and you buff the character, and they're swinging for life after that, you just lose. So, kind of why I feel like they might have to hit that card sooner rather than later, but we'll have to see. Going to promote the nurse, going to be playing a Ashford Academy of themselves, going to tap the Academy so that way they can untap their own Nanili. This one lets you buff a character with 3000 BP by 1000 and give it impact, but it has to be um, it has to be active so that way you can suspend it, which is why they played the Ashford Academy. Going to just move characters around so it's easier to follow where they're given the buff. They're going to give it to the Kellen. Kellen is now 3k with impact. Going to raid on 2 and going to swing 3k with block or impact, blocking with the raid character, swinging 4k, unsuspending the Kellen. 4k cc cc is a draw one our draw trigger um going to swing I, I don't think either one of them matters they're not going to block either of these uh going to swing kelvin bottom life L bottom life just got very nice good swing in the nurse the nurse top life and another nanelli no no uh, uh trigger so Kind of looking, kind of looking grim at the moment. You know, they they've lost uh, Nanelli. They, you know, hopefully they can draw some kill trigger or kill the horror house. Horror house would be nice. Either player getting a horror house at this moment in time basically seals the game. So we'll see who or if anybody can get to it. We are going to be playing, yes, there we go, going to drop the Ashford Academy, going to play the Nurse, going to untap both of them with the Ashford Academies, because both do have the uh, Academy trait, going to be activating Nanili's effect to make it so that you get a character that is unblockable by 4k characters, which will be helpful since the raid character won't be able to block this. Sweet, swing in the nurse. Yes, going to swing in the nurse. Nurse, 3k at life. Unblockable to 4k, so only could block it with, oh, no, not blocking with the nurse. Okay, could block with the Kellen though. Um, nope, taking the life, okay. Oop, CC, gonna get yourself a draw, very nice. Helpful, you know, get through your deck a little bit more. I try to find those horror houses. Going to swing the raid character, unsuspend the nurse. Just going to get a card to hand. Going to swing the nurse again because they can't be blocked by the 4k raid character. Can still be blocked by the Kellen, so maybe that is what they'll do. Or maybe blocked by the nurse. No, I think you block Kellen if you do it because there's still a 3k and a 2k on board so you definitely don't want to lose two characters here you'd rather just lose one if you are gonna block here um, after this swing though you really don't have to worry too much about it he could go down to one life though uh, one life keep all three of your characters on board ah, that might be the play honestly um, just because then you would have more of a clap back for the next turn to swing he must have enough cards in hand to not have to worry about that. Going to block with the Kellen. Okay. Going to go into their turn, their draw. What is that? Looks like it's cat. I think they drew into a cat. Not entirely sure. That's what it semi looked like. And look like they have a cat boy in hand. So maybe no, that's hmm, that's Kellen. Huh. Well, they have to put at least four characters on board, or four in the front line. Oh, going to tap to draw, hoping to get the horror house. Nope. Got the cat guy again. Okay. Would be better if he was a colored trigger, so that way he could pop the cat on the opponent's side. But, you know, sometimes our life does not pay off for us. Going to be playing the cat guy, going to be playing the cat. 
and going to play the Kellen. All right, perfect. Going to tap Ashford Academy, give promote or act set act of the Kellen. Going the Kellen. That one is a when attacking again a thousand BP. It is a three K. Going to buff it. Looks like going to buff it. Make it a five K with impact, but. It doesn't matter, the cat on their side has impact negate, so even if you get to the point where you can force them to do that, yep, that's what they're going to do. Now a 4K, uh, 4K with impact, going to swing the nurse, going to block out. This is why the Nanelli that makes it so that raid character, the 4000 or higher can't block, is so pivotal, because you would get basically three sw free swings with the uh, nurses or th two swings with the nurses and a 4k uh, but yeah going to swing the 4k raid character unsuspend the nurse going to take the top life which is the cat boy going to pop the cat unfortunate for the code gasper on the right they do definitely need to have four characters or it's going to be very difficult to get the block all five swings unless there is a horror house or a heal in the deck or the life I mean sorry looks like we are taking ourselves a second to see if we are going to be blocking or not swing in the nurse see if we're blocking this um, I think you take it I think you just go down to one life I don't feel like there's a reason to not keep four characters on board personally well, technically three, because you're gonna have to block with a cat, s because they have impact negate or they have impact. So, they didn't have that impact negate. Eeeh. Yeah, you're you're losing a character, losing two two characters, putting yourself kind of on a flat board. But since they do have the impact negate, I feel like they're you know set up pretty well, not having to worry on the right hand side. Yeah, I'm thinking he's gonna take the life. I I would personally. I'm taking it. Yep, that's what I would do. And Ashford Academy goes to hand, swinging, going to be blocking the impact with impact negate, setting everything. And okay, let's see. Hopefully they don't draw. <sighs> well. So that was a fun game. Um, top deck into a horror house. I'm pretty sure that ends the game. You have four, possibly five swings if they promote CC or play any character with Ashford uh, traits. Uh, looks like they have a Nanelli in their hand, so they could play her. Um, but yeah, that, uh, man, they drew into a horror house, so that kind of... Okay, going to tap one to draw into another horror house yep okay so you promote the CC and you so you use both yep both horror houses bop two things and just swing out yep 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 if I was the opponent I would be <laughs> really mad if I found out my opponent just top deck two horror houses against me yep shown the first one perfect get rid of it yep he knew he grabbed that so quick and second one the nurse right no both of them are 3k I guess it really doesn't matter because you uh, I mean get rid of the one that swings to four yeah there you go just in case just in case so the nurse can block this yet yeah, going to be given the nurse effect 4k characters can't block her going to get a nurse who buffs and swinging that blocking her and going to swing with the nurse again. Uh, just gonna, s yep, there you go. Swing with CC, perfect. And that's the game. Yep, unfortunate. But man, uh, as you can see, that's two times. That's two buffs that really couldn't have mattered at all because of this character, which is why we're probably going to be losing this character very soon <laughs> because this making it so that you get three two pretty much easy swings every turn ridiculous but that's the finals i hope you guys enjoyed i uh, the next set of these will be future matches so we're gonna see decks in the future that 
we probably won't be playing for maybe a couple of months to maybe a year who knows but i hope you guys are ready to see all that i know myself i am uh and i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you kind of like this uh content and i will keep doing more of it and i will have some live uh live gameplay and stuff very soon hopefully be making that sometime today and have it out sometime this week but yeah um keep collecting shiny cardboards keep collecting shiny cards and until the next one i will smell you later